Today I'm going to be spending a lot, lot of time with my sugar gliders. I have really haven't spent much time with them lately as I've been looking after my daughter's grandson. So today I'm going to bring the tent home after mowing the lawn and I'm going to have them outside in the garden. I've never been able to do this before because we've never had any hot summers. Well, I've only had my gliders for a year but last year we had terrible summers so I won't ever bring them out. So I'm going to mow the lawn and then I'm going to bring my sugar gliders down in the tent. And I'm going to try bond the two that are unbonded. Now, those of you that are, are new uh, and the others that know me before, you're probably wondering why I'm on a different channel. Well, this is my first channel, my main channel. Now, my temporary channel was made because I've lost all my login details to this channel. My daughter made me this channel years ago. Uh, new email and everything, and, and I lost my phone. And when my phone's popped up out of the cupboard, out of the blue, and I'm back on this channel now. It's a shame, really, because... <sighs> Mind you, though, um, if you go on my other channel, you'll see when I very, very first had my sugar gliders. And no matter how much research you do, you really start leaning all over again when you actually bring your sugar gliders home. It was so much fun and I had so much laughter and so much joy in, in, in that. But it is all on the other channel if you want to see what when I brought my gliders home and how new I was to sugar gliders. <laughs> An experience now. So yeah, so I'm going to start from now anyway, because I did do a, a video where the shop riders, um, I had some older ones and then I had some babies and I put them in the tent together and they just did not burn. So I, I didn't, I, I've done it twice with older gliders and baby gliders because I was building my gliders up. So I, don't, I personally don't believe that it's possible to, um, in most cases, to bond a baby glider with older gliders older gliders until that baby's grown up a bit more. I do not look at the weeds. I am not a guardian person at all. This blue I'm going to change. This was I put up for winter to stop all the rain going in but I've got some nicer stuff now so I'm going to do that possibly not today because I've got to do the lawn. Just look at my temporary greenhouse. I have got the full greenhouse in, in my shed somewhere, but finding it's another matter. Let's get started so that we can bring the shuggies out. Well, this is not fun. Gotta stop and have some pineapple and coconut juice drink. You know, just had a thought. Um, I hope I don't lose my gliders. Never had them outside before. Actually, saying that, we've never had it hot enough before. So I've not been able to bring them out before this. So this is the very, very first time. Okay, so I'm halfway done. I'm not doing the weeds. I've only got this half to do now. That's it, lawn well, done. I am changing this. I just had to put this on because we had a really bad winter and we didn't have any summer last year. But I'm going to put something nicer here. That was just stop the rain from going in. It's not actually getting in here that's bothering me. It's getting out. So now it's time. They have not seen each other since my last video on my other channel. On that temporary channel. They have not seen each other since. So here are my first lot. I've wet sexy I've waited for the sun go and it get a little bit darker for them, not chancing hurting them or causing them any stress whatsoever. There's no way. It, the sun's going down, it's getting late. I usually wake up at eight o'clock anyway. Now here's the three that I want bonding. You can tell the three that I need bonding because They've got white tails, these and one's a white face. Going to open that. All this will occupy them and stop them from attacking each other. So it's these three 
but I need to find him with my dark ones. So I'm going to turn this camera around now. So let's see how they go now. And also, let's see how they go on outside. <gasps> the wheels fell down. White tails were the babies, but they've got one on my back. Whoa, did you see that? He just flew. Hey, they're liking outside. wheel for you. Wow! This is amazing! And they're all going on. They're flying more because they... I don't know. Is it because they think they're outside? This one's helping itself. Some yucky drops. Oh my goodness. Bye. Okay. Oh, that was peavy. There's a um, little crystal, the one that they picked on when she was a baby, and look at her now. She has had a tail bit off, but they picked on a terrible. She used my white face, but she's all grown up now. And what? You just watch. The last video they didn't bother with her, so we'll see. I don't. Doesn't look like we'll see. Now, my recent babies are the two white tails. We've got she's okay now. We've got my white tails to bond. Uh oh, there's my cat. I'm going to do this every night while it's, while we've got the sun, because I'm determined pull that separator down in that cage. So there's those. Got crystal. Oh. Ready to. The two white tails are under there. They're not so much babies now, so I'm hoping this is. Um, it's been a couple of months now, hasn't it, since my last bonding with them. They don't pick on crystal no more. The white tails. Alaska and Navy. I'm still scared.
Look at the change in here though. For those that didn't see the other video, that she used to jump from my that cage right to the other side of the bedroom and she'd land on me and then jump to the other side and she would shake. And look at her now, the difference. Alaska's the scaredest one. Complete white tail, I bet that's her. And the other white tail has got a few stripes on. She's more forward. So she's another crystal. Scared, very scared she is. She's another crystal. There's Striped Tail. She's going to mingle in dead quick. Well, she has, Luke. She's more scared of humans than she is for the gliders. She is more for humans than what she is for gliders. There's Crystal. She's mingling in great. Crystal is. It's her. She's going on me back. It's Alaska. She's going on me back. And they're not attacking her. It's just her. Wait, they're not touching her. Fighting. No one's fighting. She won't do that to me. She loves me. Do give it some, Ava. Give it some crystal. Go, crystal. Go, Ava. I have got to say, they're loving it out here. I've never seen them fly so much. She just jumped on the phone. My cats are all sitting there watching. Wondering what the heck. I've got so many neighbours.
crystals on me soon. Well, that was a lousy fly. Glide. I do have one of these wheels as well as my other two wheels because I've got the tr track on that that's supposed to file down the nails. I can cut the nails but I don't like it so I do stick that wheel in and keep swapping over the cages so it does a bit of the nails. You can put the sandpaper tracks, whatever it's called, in the other wheels but that's an all-in-one one. Yeah, I think that's better if, if you want to trim the nails. I'm getting a lot of them jumping right on my face, but I'm not getting it on camera. She's gone in the wheel with him. She's trying to get in the wheel with him. That's Crystal. Oh, wow. Do you know, if I had a video to show you before, what she used to do is shake. No. Okay, she's shaking. Just move that. No, she doesn't know where to go. Alaska, Alaska. Oh, hey there. This is good bonding for me as well with Avi. She's not as friendly with me. Oh, Avi's got one. That's why she didn't take one. Oh, this would be good for me bond with Avi. Because Alaska likes me. Yogi. She likes Yogi's. That's her favourite Yogi's. You get one as well. I'll send the lab too. I'll send the lab as many as these little ones can carry. That's little Frankie. Up in a 
myself. That's Alaska, white tail. Oh, she's getting a bit brave. That divider. There's Crystal with them. She's straight and she's fine. I reckon I could put them Crystal with them now. So I believe I could put Crystal with the uh, all my standard greys. I believe I could put white striped tail Avi with all my standard greys now. All in the same cage, all but I just cannot leave Alaska the full white tail yet. But these are my latest two. Crystal's fine. So I've got to get these two with my standard greys. I had to wait till Crystal's completely grown up for her uh, to be near them. I mean, I had to buy these two playmates. Well, I didn't have to, but I did. And they came as a pair, so I couldn't just have one, I had to have both. Get in there, Crystal. Chris, I've only got two standard greys there because I think the other standard grey has gone under here. That's fr uh, uh, Milo. Oh, Luke. Oh, God, Milo's terrified. <laughs> he was only trying to get onto the blanket. Right, they've all had enough of the light now, so while they're in slow-mo mood, I'm going to pack them all in there bags and I might remove the petition in the cage and see how it goes. Well let's sort you out in bags. Okay. Got all in or put in. So I've got one in there got the others upstairs, one in there, one in there, I just can't get in and I'm, I've only got three bags. So I've took the divider out here and I've put that on and that's inside. Okay, so I'm setting up tent. I've got my little wish light that I won. I've got the wish light that I've won there. And I'm setting up tent to be on guard for them tonight. Here's my chair. So I'll meet you at night with them. And keeping my eye on them. I've just got to keep my eye on them. We're free to go inside each other's house now. My only concern is Alaska.
Oh dear. Yeah, they do. Complete fail. I've had to turn the light on. I've got to get this off now and put this back on. Complete or to fail and separate them. I'll try temp bonding again tomorrow.